Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're continuing the Vince Black quest, looking for the whereabouts of the missing agent, Vince Black. And we found that their informant inside of the Diwali that they were working with before they disappeared was Dobramilla, the wife of a Diwali crime lord. And before giving them the ticket, or well, I guess after giving them the ticket, to go to Berlin and start a new life, they gave us the information on where the smuggling operation that the Diwali crime lord was operating out of, and that's inside of this locker. Near the Palisade Bank, in here, secret little panel, underground place, and there's someone here. Let's find out who they are. Who are you? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Like I said, I guess I'll see if there's anything here before I talk with them. I was expecting it to start a cutscene. What are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing here? If Vlasta sees you, he'll... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Vlast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Golem was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lasta finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. And then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Devni Opfut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. I didn't come here to get in your way, to keep people like you from escaping places like Gollum. Then walk away. I'll never have another chance like this. I've given them everything I have for this one shot. If I get recaptured... It's Blaster! Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is come that on, I won't be on any of them. Truck. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Well, this is going to be a little awkward. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? Okay, I don't want to blow this for them. For all of you. I'm just here to see my friend off, make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about all of you, you have no reason to worry about me. See her off? This look like an airport lounge to you? I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. I don't like surprises. 
When people break my terms, it makes me want to break things. Or maybe not break them, maybe strip them down, sell them for parts. Persuade? I could just bribe them. But I guess if I've got Persuade, let's do it. You're a businessman running a business, Vasta. Part of that business is built on getting people like Ollie V out of places like Gollum, places like Prague. Only way for you to maintain your reputation here is to fulfill your agreement with her. Wrong. My reputation is built on people not fucking with me. People not wasting my time. You should both be dead already. The only reason I'm holding back. You should both be dead. The reason you haven't shot me yet is because you know gunfire will draw the attention of every cop in Prague. That's why we both need a way out of this that's quick and simple and quiet. He's right, Vlasta. Okay, so let's say I'm in a hurry, and that I'm not eager to attract the attention of the police. That doesn't mean I have to take all of you with me, or that I have to let you walk out of here alive. There are quiet ways to kill men. Trust me, there's no quick and quiet way for you to take me out. Your only efficient solution is Ollie V getting in the truck and me walking away. She won't be a problem because she gets what she wants, and I won't be a problem because I don't want to jeopardize her. All right, we'll take Ollie V to Rabia, like we promised. And I like the idea of never seeing you again. You walk away and you don't tell anybody about any of this. Because if anything goes wrong, if I regret this, she's the one who's going to pay for it. For your sake. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Okay. Good luck. So, find Vince Black's apartment. Where is it? Wait, it's there at the abandoned store? Oh right, that's what they said, they said um, something about it being in like the basement, right? Oh that's right, there was a basement in the abandoned store. I remember actually going there before. Well, let's head there again. Here's the abandoned store. Oh, now there's a body here. It's really awkward the way things just aren't there if you find them before you're supposed to. Delara, I found Vince. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. <sighs> he should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. So I think that finished the quest, didn't it? Yeah. What the hell do they have in their mouth? Is that like a sock stuffed in there or something? Stiletto? Um. The double agent tangled up in the double life. I don't know exactly what got him killed or why, and I'm starting to think I never will. What is this a hint that it was Dobramilla or something? I don't know. Killed with a hammer, I guess. So, is there anything else here that's also new? Oh, hello. Charnabog. So Vince Black is Charnabog. Charnabog is Vince Black. How long did you expect to live two lives without me finding out? And to think, you might have kept fooling us had you not told her. She's very good, isn't she? She knows how to make a man feel safe. Loved, even. By the time you read this, Vlast will be holding a gun to your face. I asked him to give you something before pulling the trigger. She said it was your favorite. Huh. Okay, so we got played.
Hmm. So yeah, Vince Black is Charnabog. I've seen Charnabog all over the place. They must have been in deep. To the point where it sounds like they'd actually become corrupted themselves. Okay, well, only quest we have left to do at the moment is the main quest. We're looking for Stanek at the Irish Stool. Uh, they apparently, according to the person that we spoke with outside of the watchmaker's shop when it blew up, they said that um, they were coming here to meet their daughter. This must be the heaviest place on Earth. Well, except for the occasional bomb going off. I don't think this place is very happy at all. What are you talking about? Welcome to the Irish stool, buddy. Pull one up and I will see what they can do for you. Irish stool. Catchy name. Very evocative. I like to think so. Well, what will it be? Not right now, thanks. I've got something to get to. Downstairs? Hey, I am a citizen! I have rights! You cannot detain me without charging me! This, I know! And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Major Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Y you have the wrong man. I, I... I don't have a staff. It's only a, a small shop. You know that. It, it's Jensen, right? Your name? It is. Think, Mr. Stanek. Is there anyone else who had access to your shop? There's only myself and my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child, gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear! What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the Ascension, whatever that is. Oh. They're part of the cult. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was... Dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Duh! They 
exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. Your shop was firebombed. People in the area think it may have been the Diwali. Did they ask you for protection money? Redich? Nikoladze? No. I make him watches for a discount. I was never a wealthy man, but my shop was well known and respected. After what happened to Allison, Redich knew I needed all the money I had. So you worked out a different arrangement. So why would the Diwali firebomb your store? Redich is a man of business. If someone makes him a better offer, friendship means nothing to a thug. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will. Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter, Allison, ex-military EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's Another hiding something. Front. The agents are bringing them in. Let me up front. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. I think my teeth are full. Adam, Janice heard the NSN conversation we recovered. He agrees you two should meet. Good. Just tell me where. There's an abandoned tourist information center in the central plaza. Make sure you're not followed. And I got something on Marchenko for you, too. Maybe Details are on a pocket secretary near the meetup point. Look for a trash bin with a chalk mark above it. You'll find it near the metro. Got it. So clandestine. I'm intrigued, especially intrigued about Janus. I suspect they're an AI. I really do. I wonder what I'm going to find. Okay, so the trash can should be right about here. With the dead drop in it. Make it through this shift. Chalk mark above it. Oh, here we go. What have you found on Marchenko? Gotta wait a second for it to appear. Here is what we know. Born 1991. In Ukraine, parents were illiterate railway workers. Left school after 10 years, two years shy of the compulsory 12, to become a shift worker on a drilling gang looking for shale gas deposits in eastern Ukraine. Ran into trouble in 2011 when a group of pro-Russian separatists started a fight with his crew in Mariupol after work. He tried to break it up, got injured, and ended up in hospital. Could have been, could have been when he got augmented, not sure. Records get pretty scarce here. In fact, there's a good 12 year period we can't account for and no record of when or where he did get augmented. Shows up again briefly in 2023, this time with a wife and newborn kid, Alicia Maritovna and Reza uh, Viktorichna. Only now he's in Belgorod, which I don't get, frankly. A pro Ukrainian national moving to Russia only makes sense if he stayed with energy companies all those years. Everyone wanted a piece of the reserves after 2015, but that would have put him somewhere in Siberia, not Belgorod. Belgorod is on the border with Ukraine. It's got nothing to do with oil. It does, however, have a long history of military occupation, and in 2016 it was a city from which the newly minted Russian Federated States deployed Bell Tower Associates to quell Ukraine's anti-separatist dissension once and for all. So, why is he having a kid there in 2023? Still working on finding that one out, and on finding out what happened to the wife and kid afterward. Because neither of them were with him when he emigrated to the Udalek complex last year. Huh. So, did they work for Bell Tower? It's kind of what it sounds like. Okay, so the meeting place for Janus is in the abandoned place that we have already been to. Excited to go back down there again, though. Super cool place. Uh, 
Um, how did I get down? This way? Janus. We don't have a lot of time, Mr. Jensen. Over here, please. They're totally an AI. Janus. If this is your idea of a face-to-face -face meeting, I'm not impressed. You didn't think I would jump on a plane to Prague, did you? I guess not. The conversation we recovered. You know who Manderley was talking to, don't you? Robert Page, CEO of Page Industries and owner of the First Life Corporation. He's a multi-billionaire. Doesn't mean we can't arrest both of them for conspiracy to commit murder. We heard Page give the order to kill Rucker. In a recorded conversation that you obtained illegally. It's fruit from the poisonous tree, Mr. Jensen. It won't stand up in court. What about this orchid, then? Can we find out more about it? I think we should find out. I'm digging on my end, but there may be something you can do in Prague. First Life has an account at the Palisade Property Bank. If you can get to their data vault, we may find some of the answers we're looking for. You're telling me to break into a bank? Ark is being manipulated, set up to take the fall for something. Most likely another terror attack. Fine. What about this Brown? Page mentioned him and some sort of council. Nathaniel Brown, maybe, head of the Santo Group? Perhaps. Nathaniel Brown stands to earn trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes, but... Janus. Adam! The site's been compromised. I just spotted sentry drones headed your way. What? How? Shit. I wasn't following. Maybe somebody at PRE detected Janus as a hack into the electrical grid. I don't know. Just get out of there. Yeah. Okay, got them all for a little bit of time. Oh, shit. Guess we're going out by the sewers then. That's what those bombs were for. It's really, really odd though that the bombs appear before they actually show up. Why not just have them only appear after they show up? Who the hell are they shooting at? Probably should enable that before they spotted me, but we're good. Oh god. We're just killing civilians. Damn it. That's ah, fine. Oh wow. How far do the traps go? Like, all the way back up to the surface? Who are those people? Oh, I think they're inside the Diwali Casino, right? That's what that is? Oh, right, the casino's probably open now that it's nighttime, huh? That makes sense, because it doesn't show as restricted anymore. Oh, gas mine. 
Well, I mean, I can breathe it in, so... Yeah, actually, before I head to the surface, I am curious, can I just walk into the casino and... the good? I mean, this is locked, but it's not restricted inside. Would they have problems with me just going this way? Just see real fast while we're down here. No, we're cool. I don't know if there's anything I actually want to do in here, though. I mean, I don't think so. To the surface we go. Whoa. What the hell's going on in there? I noticed that... Bodyguard. Uh, I noticed that the store is locked. I guess that's because I busted through here before? Damn, that one's fast. Not that there's much point in taking it out. I don't think anybody's coming for me. No, some people are coming for me. Why, though? Like, who are you a part of? Wait, what the hell? I've been in here, but I don't remember any of this? I'm going. Who are these people? Is this a store? Tech Noir? Oh. That's the basement of Tech Noir. Well, um, I actually might want to sell stuff to them, so you know what? I, I think I'm just gonna go. It's weird, though, that there was a bodyguard in the basement messing around with explosives. Like, what the hell? I think I just lost another two. Mr. Jensen, it's Nomad Stanek. Please, please, you must help. Mr. Stanek, how did you... My daughter. They're going to kill her. I gave your friends the slip, and when, when I got to here... Where? The Prakaska district. An apartment complex behind the laundromat. Please, hurry. I'll hurry, but first let me sell back to this person the stuff I stole from them. Is this some kind of og protest? Adam, you okay? Those drones... I'm fine. Whoever sent them didn't succeed. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, Janus just called. Versa Life is closing their account, moving everything out of that data vault tonight. This can't wait. You gotta get over there now. I can't. I found the bomb maker. She can tell us everything. But she's about to be killed. What? Shit, man, they're cleaning up Blue Sands. I can't break into a bank, not by myself. And if we don't do this now, we lose the Orchid. Fuck! But if I don't go to the Prokowska district, the bomb maker dies, and we're back to square one. <sighs> Your call, man. Wow. Um... I'm going with Allison. Okay, to help Allison, I've got to head over to the Church of the Machine God, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. Shot